A cyber scare for commuters today with word that a North Korean hacker or hackers tried to break into Metrolinks and, of course, oversees GO Transit and other transportation systems here in the GTA and the Hamilton area. Now, officials quick to reassure commuters that the system was safe, but at least one cyber expert says it may be too early to tell. There was at no time was anybody at, uh, at risk. That is Metrolink spokesperson Anne Marie Akins. She says very little time was wasted once they realized there was an attack underway. We acted quickly. We had expert staff that worked quickly with our provincial partners to, uh, to deal with it, and, uh, and uh, we are continuing to monitor. So looking at transportation industry around the world, there's been many breaches, uh, some documented, some not, but it's pretty easy to get in. Cybersecurity specialist Daniel Tobak isn't surprised Metrolinx was targeted by the malware the North Koreans routed through Russia. There's really a couple of reasons. One of the reasons is they're looking for passenger information and personal information that can be utilized to leverage and perpetrate crime. Number two, they wanted to see maybe how deep they can get in order to hold the transportation agency as, as a hostage in a ransomware situation. At no time was any customer information uh, or card information, nothing related to our customers was ever compromised. Cybercrime is a growing concern, but what makes this interesting is that it originated in North Korea. Tobak, though, doesn't feel Kim Jong-un's government was directly behind it, but it is likely profiting from the hackers. Uh, last year, uh, $3 billion, $3.5 billion of uh, monies have come from revenue from proceeds of crime to North Korean government. So it's another revenue stream. Which out of a, a GDP was like $14 billion was or about, something? Yeah, about 14 So it's a, a big chunk of change. Absolutely. The country. Absolutely. As for the Russian connection... Tobak says with worsening relations between Russia and the West, it has become a popular conduit for hackers. It has millions and millions of servers to hide in and very little likelihood the Kremlin will hand you over. With the way the situation is between uh, Russia and uh, the U.S., it's easier to get information from China. Absolutely. I mean, with some countries that have an easier or a better relationship with Canada, there's going to be a lot more effective ways to get diplomatic information to flow and evidence of potential any cyber breaches and so on. Consider what's happening with Russia, they might be a little more difficult to get evidence. Tobok says Metrolinx likely had a good system. He says they've spent a lot of money to improve security, but... He is taking a wait-and-see approach to see just how successful the hackers actually were. One of the issues, I don't know how they audit their infrastructure. When is the last time they've done an audit and their internal strategy on security? I think it's a little early to tell what is the actual damage that was caused at Metrolinx. Tobuk says it could be five to seven days before the full extent of the damage, if there is any, is known.